obviously, uh, in terms of the result, your disappointing result in LA. Uh, what are sort of the keys to rebound from that game now in Cincinnati? Definitely disappointed uh, result. Um, we're not content in the fact that we gave away uh, too many goals these past two games. Uh, but there was a lot of good things that we have done, uh, not only in this game, the past game as well, that, uh, that I think uh, are showing that we are progressing in some areas. Um, and it was uh, a specific moment in this match that uh, unfortunately uh, we should have been better and, uh, and they capitalized on those moments. Uh, we also have some very good moments which we didn't take advantage of. The game could have been different. And I think after the third goal, unfortunately, uh, the game changed completely. Um, so a lot of things to look into it, um, and uh, we gotta keep, continue to work. Um, it's not definitely a result that we're happy with. Uh, this is not what we want, you know, to give our fans uh, that support us so much. But uh, nevertheless, uh, we know what we need to continue to work and, and make sure that we we're better. But there's a lot of good things that we've been doing these past two games that I think we can build on upon. In terms of the defense specifically, um, like you said, seven goals in, in two games, that's more than any other team has conceded in MLS. What are the specific areas on defense um, that need to be better and what do you need to do to make those areas better? Yeah, I think, I think uh, a lot of times people make a mistake of thinking that goals come only because of uh, the fault of the defenders and uh, that's a very big mistake. Uh, it's a collective work of an entire team that allows us to defend well or to attack well. And, uh, and I think we have moments in this game that we give away. We have moments in, the, in Colorado that we give away goals, especially the moments that we give those goals away, 45th, uh, 46th, 90th. So those, those are things that we need to be better at, but it's a collective effort uh, to make sure that we defend better, which we did a lot of the times. I think if you go back and you look at the first half, they, they were, there were not too many chances from LAFC. Uh, we defended well, we played very well. Uh, but we have to be constant through the entire match. It's not, you know, we cannot give away moments uh, to then have to catch up again in the game, and that's one thing that we need to be better at. After a result like that, do you do you think that it, it's likely that you can make some lineup changes heading into this weekend? Uh, we're analyzing that. We're looking at uh, at Cincinnati. We're deciding uh, who are the guys that are going to play in that game, and you know, and that's what we're working on uh, in practice. So uh, I'm very content with the group that we have. Uh, it's, it's a moment just to continue to, to make sure that we keep on working. Uh, we've been here before uh, in the past, and we just have to make sure that we continue to, to, to work with the convictions of you know, the direction that we're going to, which I think is going to be very good. And we see it. Uh, as I always say, everybody has an opportunity to play, and um, everybody's important in this club. Um, in terms of, uh, similarly, in terms of formation, last year, uh, obviously, you went to New York, you, you conceded four goals, you changed the formation to sort of that Christmas tree, uh, the 4 3 2 one, um, and sort of went from there. Do you see the, a potential response being a formation change, uh, or do you feel really settled at this point in the 4, four 2 three, one? No, we need to win, win games, uh, and we need to make sure that we put the guys that we feel this week have worked the best. And we have to make sure that we do that, that we get the job done. Uh, this is a, another difficult match. Uh, we know that these 12 games are going to be tough, all of them. So we just have to make sure that we continue to get points and making sure that in Cincinnati we we're a little bit better focused and and that we're able to do a better job. Do you see this as a big opportunity to potentially rebound, maybe get your first win against a, an expansion team, or or is? Is it would it be a mistake to underestimate it? No, it will be a mistake, and you know, in every way, uh, in MLS, to think that you're going to play any team and that you can get a, a guaranteed win. Uh, this is uh, who thinks that way is a is, is a fool. Uh, this is, this is MLS. This is difficult. Every game is tough. Doesn't matter who you play. Uh, you can go and ask Atlanta what happened at home. You know, they, they got one one against uh, Cincinnati. Uh, every game is tough. You have to play every game, and, and we have a conviction in the direction that we're going. We're very happy, you know, with some of the things that we did. Uh, we just have to make sure that we are uh, more thorough and, and and constant to make sure that we played uh, the same way for 90 minutes. So Chara got a second yellow for flicking a player's ear. I mean, what was your reaction when you saw what he did to earn that card? And I mean, was it frustrating to see kind of silly things lead to losing? You know, an important player. Yeah, it's important. You know, it's difficult to lose an important player um, in in the way we did. Um, I think, unfortunately, you know that the, the sort of things happen sometimes. You know, uh, maybe the referee saw that one and didn't see some others. 
uh, on the other side. But um, that, that's you know that's what we have to play with. And unfortunately, Chad is an important player for us, and and it's not going to be part of it. But this is the moment for other guys to show. You know, uh, whoever is going to step in the position for for Diego it needs to it needs to show. And and what a better opportunity to to show that that we can win games as well. You know, uh, in this situation. So. Uh, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of conviction in, in this club. Uh, this week, you know, the guys practiced excellent today. So, um, I've been very happy with the approach of the guys and the response that, that I see, you know, this week from, from the match. And I'm sure you know the stat that the Timbers haven't won since 2015 without Chara. I'm just curious what you think about that stat. I mean, is it just sort of an anomaly or is Chara that important of a player to you? I think two things with that. Chara is that important to every record is broken. So I don't care, you know, uh, what are the chances. Um, you know, we want to win every game with uh, Chara, with, you know, with whoever's going to be in the field. Uh, he's, as you know, as I said, he's a very, very important player for us. Uh, not only for us, he's a top player in the league. So any team will uh, definitely uh, uh, will want to have Chara on the team. Uh, but the reality is that he's not available at the moment, and there's other guys that I think will step up. And how do you make up for his absence with the guys that you have? I mean, and what have you seen from them? Are they kind of uh, seizing this opportunity, kind of knowing that this is a big opportunity for them? This is what, you know, usually players that want to be important, that want to contribute to the team, are waiting for it. opportunities to be able to step in and play. And I think uh, now one one place open up. Let's see who's going to be able to take it, and hopefully it's going to do a good job. Um, and then put a case to make sure that you know the player can continue to play.